Good morning. Good morning. Trade coffee for empty baba. Good morning, Nornu. Good morning, little monster. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to day five of Vlogmas. Oh, my little monster's coming. Hi. What you doing? Family is up. I will say we slept in a little bit later on this Saturday morning than normal. I mean, 7.15 counts as a, a sleep in morning for us. But we're all just waking up. Josh and I are having some coffee. The kids are kind of sleepily starting to play. I'm gonna be making some breakfast this morning. A number of things going on today. I think I'm gonna go try and find finally a topper and tree skirt, take you guys with me, do some Christmas shopping for Christmas decor. Lila has a birthday party she has to go to this afternoon. Yes, we've been here all of a week. She's been in school for a week and already has a friend's birthday to go to, but we're actually excited because they're neighbors in our neighborhood, so we get to meet a few people that we live near, and we also have something fun to do tonight as a family. We're heading to the Houston Space Center to go see their holiday lights display. So the Jansons are hitting NASA. Family, you guys want biscuits this morning? Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. Daddy hasn't had biscuits since, uh, what? Like, months, I am deprived. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, I can't very well deprive the husband of his favorite Southern style biscuits. So let's make some biscuits this morning. As all good Southern recipes start, stick of butter. So I put my nine by nine pan with the stick of butter in the oven while I preheated it to 450 degrees. You want it nice and melty. This is the easiest biscuit recipe. You don't have to like cut in the butter. It goes into the melted butter. Pause, Norse throwing a ball at my holiday decor. Sissy, sissy, you're a stinker. Destruction has at least paused for now. Um, so that goes in to get all melty and then we whip up the batter pour it right into the melted butter. That bakes in the oven for 30 minutes at 450 and we have delicious fluffy butter float biscuits. Ready for family breakfast with some fruit. Come a little closer. Oh, we've had a casualty. My little gingerbread girl teaspoon. Josh says he thinks we can glue her. But I will say these were like a set for only five bucks at Walmart, so we'll be able to replace her. But she didn't even make it to cookie baking day that's coming up. Fine, I'll use non-holiday measuring spoons, but I won't be happy about it. Wanna dance with you, everything's moving slower. I don't know what it is you do. I've been looking at you all night, trying to figure you out. I just wanna make Combine until just mixed. Don't overmix it. Keep them light and fluffy. And then just kind of spread it out. Some of the butter is gonna come up over the top, that's okay. Just try to get it out to the corners as best as you can. And then the next step is I'm just gonna use my spatula and kind of do a little cut down to mark out the biscuits. I like to cut mine three by three, so there's nine. Some of the butter is going to seep in there and they'll kind of be a little bit pre-cut when you pull them out of the oven. It also helps to crisp up the edges on all sides of your biscuits and it makes these easy release so they're not sticking to the glass dish after they come out of the oven. it's later in the afternoon I took Lila to her birthday party which was so much fun um, we got to meet some new neighbors from our neighborhood as well as some of the parents and kids from Lila's class now Lila's back at home with Josh they're like hanging out working on a project and I have Nora bug in the back here I'm in my car um, we are actually sitting in the Starbucks drive-thru I am feeling 
so tired. I'm dragging a bit. So instead of getting a coffee though, cause I don't want to like not be able to go to sleep tonight. Cause it's already like two 33 o'clock. I actually got a chai tea. Starbucks has a new gingerbread, um, iced chai out for the holiday season. I like to try all of their holiday drinks over the course of the season. Um, sometimes I don't get them again. Like I've tried the sugar cookie latte once before it was okay. My favorite is always the chestnut praline latte, um, which I normally do almond milk with and I like half the amount of syrup. So it's not quite so sweet. Um, but I do like to try all of the flavors at least once. So we're going to try gingerbread chai. And then Nora and I are actually heading out to do some Christmas decor shopping. I know it's already like a fair bit into December, but we just got moved in. We have our new tree I talked about in the previous video. I need at minimum a new tree skirt or something for around the bottom and a new topper, maybe some ribbon to do some new bows or ornaments because it's looking a little bare. Although I have to keep moving ornaments anyway because a tiny toddler over there keeps trying to take them off the tree. So they all just keep slowly moving up the tree. So anyway, we're going to see what we can find. I think a lot of stuff is on sale already. We're going to go stop at Hobby Lobby first, see what we see. If we don't see anything there, maybe we'll try Kirkland's or Michael's. But I just want to kind of get like our holiday decor, even if it's a little bit more on the minimal side since we moved this year just during the holidays. Um, I still want to get something nice up that we can enjoy it for the next couple weeks. So that's our plan for the afternoon. And then Nora and I got to get home in a little bit to do dinner with the family. And we have a special outing tonight. Oh, is that pretty? Oh, you're smelling them? All right, we got some frosted cranberry sprays. I need to do something with that one vase I have near the front door. Those are pretty. There we go. Christmas florals are 50% off already. These are cute. A little bit more whimsical, I feel like, with the brighter green. In coffee review, they actually made it hot, but I actually really like it. Who do you see? Mickey. Mickey. Seeing all the Mickeys. Mickey. All the Mickeys and Minnie. Mickey. Mickey. <laughs> always got to check out the Christmas crafts for the girls. Mickey. This Mickey. is always a great time to stock up on Mickey. some crafts in case we have like bad weather over the winter. Mickey. We always can use Mickey. an extra craft Mickey. in the house. Mickey. Lila would love Mickey. these little sun catchers. They have so many great options of being able to like craft some little frame ornaments, which are great little like extra either gift tags or gifts for like grandparents or, you know, oh, the snowflake is really cute. I also really love these like kind of naturally looking ornaments they have. They have little packs. So if you're looking to fill a tree with like more natural color, either wood, they have the balls down here. That's a pack of like beaded rounds. Rounds, wreaths, the word is wreath. Wreaths, beaded wreaths. All of this wooden stuff has given me an idea. We've moved the small tree that was gonna be in our living room before we got the big nine foot one into our bedroom. So maybe we'll do like all natural, make a little garland. Is that idea? Do you wanna make a garland? Yeah. Well, that was an experience. I'm back home. I have no more holiday decor that I was shopping for. Nora was just not having being out running errands today. She didn't want to sit down. She was like really upset. Um, and that is just not a calm, fun experience for me as a mom when she's shopping. So I ended up abandoning my trip. I didn't check out with anything because Nora was just done. Like she was done, done. See, even we have those days, guys. I had to abandon my shopping cart and just leave and get her out of there. Anyway, we're back home. I actually hopped a shower because I just needed like, a moment and also because Nora spilled a lot of my tea onto me in the store. So we came home to regroup, I showered. Now I'm actually gonna get dinner going for the family. I think tonight everyone is just tired. So we are gonna hold off on our trip to go see the lights at Houston until tomorrow. Luckily we hadn't uh, pre-bought tickets yet. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna include them at the end of this vlog here. So I'm gonna make dinner real quick and share that quick and easy family recipe with you guys. This is one of our easy family go-tos, especially for the weekend because it's simple to throw together. It comes together pretty quick and everyone eats the same thing. Nine by 13 pan. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little avocado oil in there so nothing sticks. 
I have some Campari tomatoes on the vine here I'm gonna wash up. You could also use cherry tomatoes or just like quartered or chopped up red tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, heirloom tomatoes, any kind of tomatoes. We're making a tomato sauce. This is the baked feta pasta. I have shared it before on my channel, but it's something we eat probably at least once a month and it's one of my family's favorites. So there you go. That's what we're having tonight. made like a little well in the middle. I'm putting in an eight ounce brick of feta cheese. And then you can season this however you like. I'm throwing in some Italian seasoning. And then also um, one of my favorite seasonings to use for this is the Trader Joe's Italian Sofrito style seasoning. This can give it a little bit of a kick, so be careful if you don't like spice. Not too spicy though, obviously, because my kids still like it. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this on top as well. And then I did just a touch of some sea salt as well. You don't need a lot because the feta is pretty salty as a cheese, so I just did just like a little sprinkle all around. All right, and then this is just going right into an oven that's preheated to 375. That'll go for about 30-ish minutes. I am losing it. I forgot the garlic. I'm gonna throw in a tablespoon of some minced garlic. You can do fresh if you like. Do what you do, it's your kitchen. Easy peasy, dinner's done. want to be an astronaut, huh, buddy? I'm going to find you. <laughs> Thanks for following along our holiday weekend vlog. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe so you don't miss out on more 12 days of Vlogmas. And until next time, bye. I hope it's too